Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Absolute Football 6 box inner case pick your team number 8 from jazbeescasebreaks.com Remember we popped open 7 I think the other day the other night night or two ago mark that 8 so you know it's from the same master case and thanks everybody right here who rallied around this break Chris Masters Last Bond Mojo Cowboys and thanks everybody else for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. And good luck to all. So there's two, four, and six right here. We're going to put these right on top right here. You can see it on the top camera above my head. There you go, Obi-Wan. Thanks for getting into that break. It's a good way to break the slump too. That's a good that one of one's a good slump buster. All right, there's Miles Boykin to 100. We got Khalil Mack, and behind Carryon Johnson is War Room Paris Campbell, four out of 49. Colts. Who thinks Colts at plus six in? In San Diego, who thinks they can win? Colts plus six in Los Angeles, actually, not San Diego. Chargers, Los Angeles Chargers. That's kind of intriguing to me. Is that crazy? There's Alexander Matson, one out of 30. That'll go to the Vikings, Eric Jacques. We've got Josh Norman, 75. And we got Josh Allen. Team Tandem, 105 to 199. Justice Hill, Mark Ingram for the Ravens, Patrick Stout. Gilo says, tough cover. I don't think the Colts are as bad as... Bad as people think they are. There's Antoine Wesley for the Purple Birds. It's another one for the Ravens to 100. And that'll be another one for Patrick Stout. The, the Chargers defense, they're missing uh, Derwin James. That's a, that's a big key part of why their defense is so good. And I think Jacoby Brissett wants to sling it. I think he's been hearing all week long that the, Chargers, that the Colts are garbage without luck. There's J.J. Watt to 50. There's Noah Fant to 199. Steve Young to 100. And behind Adrian Peterson is going to be Will Greer. Nice. Jersey and autograph to 99. 98 out of 99 for Roy and the Panthers. Is Cam Newton healthy? I mean, they say he is. 
maybe he's not showing up on the injury report, but, you know, surgery on that shoulder, I don't know. I have on my contest list here, I'm still trying to figure out a couple of picks for my contest. Um, the Panthers are short home dogs, plus one and a half. Panthers are plus one and a half according to my line here. And they're hosting the Rams. Rams are road favorites, minus one and a half. So are we saying we like we like Cam Newton and the Panthers at plus one and a half hosting the Rams who made an appearance in the Super Bowl? We got Jalen Ramsey to 100. Sam Darnold. And we've got Tools of the Trade, Carry On Johnson, Carry On My Wayward Son, 7 out of 10, Quad Relic. And we've got Terry McLaurin, 19 out of 25 for Roy and the Redskins. All right, all right, but it, not to diminish the, 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 the scariness and the danger of a car accident, but it's a little, I mean, he didn't have to go into surgery after that car accident, right? There's Andy Isabella at 75. I don't know. So are you guys saying you would take Panthers plus one and a half at home? Cam Newton's back to normal Cam Newton? Because if, if Cam Newton's like Super Bowl Cam Newton, there's 24 out of 99 tools of the trade. Marquez Valdez Scantling. That goes to the Packers, Edwin Hack. Because if you're telling me that, then I'm taking the Panthers. There's Jelani Tavai to 75 for the Lions. That's going to go to A.J. Anderson. But is Cam Newton Super Bowl edition Cam Newton? That's the thing. Gilo, you're saying I take the Panthers, home opener, a lot of hype, a little intimidating playing a Super Bowl contender, but, but you think they'll overcome that. There's Gridiron Force, Gronkowski to 50. And Rashawn Gary to 199. And we have Triple Relic and Autograph, Jarrett Stidham. Nice. 84 out of 199. Steve Old says, we need 2015 Cam Noon. To convince you to take Carolina plus one and a half? See, that's the question. I like Cam Newton a lot. I have nothing against Cam Newton. I like Cam Newton a lot. Is he 2015 Cam Newton? I don't know if he is. Well, you're a fan. You, of course you take Carolina win or lose, Seabulls. That I know. What about 
This is an interesting one. How about the Falcons going into Minnesota? Falcons are road dogs plus three and a half. How does everyone feel about that? There's Miles Gaskin to 100, who I always confuse with Miles Boykin. There's Lamar Jackson. And War Room, Nikhil Harry. 61 out of 130. And behind Kenyon Drake is Dylan Mitchell. Out of 25. See, that's what I was thinking, Chad Sylvia. I like Matt Ryan under the under a new offensive core. Well, not a new old offensive coordinator. Dirk Cutter is back in action. They've got a healthy defense. Remember, that? Remember two years ago, Atlanta defense was pretty solid. If not good. You know? Wow, Mets went on a walk-off walk. Um, so they've got all the, you know, Keanu Neal and guy, guys like that who are who are injured are now healthy so the defense is better than better than it was last year and the offense should be a little bit better I think I'm with you on that I think I like that Atlanta pick now g is talking about his Chiefs speaking of the Chiefs there's Juan Thornhill right here to 199 Chiefs for me I know the lines might be different for everybody else Chiefs road favorites minus three in Jacksonville. Do you like the Chiefs minus three road favorites or Jacksonville home dogs at plus three? Now that Jacksonville defense is scary. There's Justice Hill for the Ravens to 249. That will be for Patrick Stout. What do you think, Gila? I know you're a Chiefs guy, but what is your uh, semi-objective opinion? Nice justice for Patrick Stout. We've got Raquel Armstead. We've got Red Zone, Baker Mayfield to 75. we got my homies, Patrick Mahomes, speaking of the Chiefs, 43 out of 99. Tools of the trade, dual relic. So g saying if this was last year's chief defense, you'd actually take the Jags with a competent quarterback in Nick Foles, right? Chiefs dual, double relic, dual relic goes to uh, Matthew Simmons, by the way. And the autograph behind Wentz is Kyler Murray. Wow, it is. Rick Barker, we did it. 35 out of 40, Kyler Murray autograph. Finally. But Jags defense is pretty good too, Gilo. Maybe bolstered by the fact that they have a competent quarterback throwing the ball now. They're not on the field three quarters of the game. Nice one. Rick Barker's been chasing this for maybe seven, I don't know, maybe five absolute breaks. So there you go, man. I want him to do well. That'd be hashtag good for the hobby. There's Wentz. I don't know. I feel like a lot of these lines that I'm looking at, remember you guys, Nick and I are in that Circa Sports Sportsbook contest. And so uh, we've, got a, we've got a few games that, that we're on that we like, but pick, we go, we got to pick five games a week. We gotta win at least three of those five games if you even want to have a shot at the money. You know. Well, it's not one of my five games. We're just trying to figure out the. Th Here's who we're on. Here's who we're on. Nick and I have been talking about this all day. Um. So I think we are we have locked in 
We've locked in Tampa Bay, pick them. They're hosting the Niners. Niners are going across. I think cross country doesn't really matter at this early point of the season, but I think the Bucks are better than I, their home pick them. Bucks are going to win. Jameis Winston, Mike Evans, right? Garoppolo didn't look too great in the preseason, you know? Jameis Winston has Bruce Arians now. He's a quarterback whisperer. So that offense has got to look better than it did last year, even if marginally, right? So I think they can do enough to win. Weather's a little weird down there, too. Hot, humid early in the season, especially that hurricane that passed through. The other game I have, I have the Falcons at plus three and a half in Minnesota. For reasons I explained a little bit earlier. I asked about the Panthers. I think we're I think Nick and I are going Rams minus one and a half. We like the Rams at minus like two and a half, minus three. So we like them. So if they're only minus one and a half, we like them there. I don't think Cam Newton's hundred percent healthy. Um and I don't know. I, I, just, I just think the Rams want to come out firing. They'll be a little rusty in the first half, I think, but I think eventually they'll they'll win by two. I think it'll be close, but I think they'll they'll pull it out in the end. Um, and I'm taking. Uh, speaking of Kyler Murray, I'm taking the Cardinals plus two and a half. Short home dogs playing the Detroit Lions. I, 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 I have nothing against the Lions, but I just don't believe in them that much this season. I like Stafford a lot, but he's got no weapons. He's not sure if I'm a big fan of Matt Patricia. So that's four games right there. We're looking for maybe a another game there. We might drop one of those games and add another game, but we're trying to think about some of those games. We may drop the Atlanta game for something else. There's Dylan Mitchell to 100. We've got Alvin Kamara to 75. We've got Justice Hill to 199. And we've got Bryce Love, triple relic and autograph for the Redskins to 199. Well, I think the Rams do have a rusty girly, but there you go, Roy with the Redskins. But I think they have more weapons than the, you know, they got Goff. They got receivers. They got Cooper Cup back. They got Daryl Henderson in the backfield. They've got Aaron Donald. They've got that defense. I think they can overcome a rusty Jared Goff. We got Kevin Bird to 50. Is Travis Kelsey. AJ Anderson, Lions guy. Ouch, he says. Detroit versus the world. Versus everybody. Team Tandon, 132 out of 199. Darius Slayton, Sterling Shepard. I like Safford a lot. I like Carrion Johnson. This is for the Giants. Mark Livingston. But Stafford doesn't really have anyone to throw to outside, like. I don't know who they're receiving. Hawkinson and. I don't know about their defense. I wish they I wish they got someone other than Matt Patricia too. I'm not a big fan of Matt Patricia. Out of 100, Emmanuel Hall. And that goes to that's a catch as well. That'll be for the Bears. Oh, Kenny G. Bears autograph Jim Morin. Forgot about Kenny G. Is Kenny G a number? Would Kenny G be the number one wide receiver on any team? Marvin Jones Jr. be? There's team trios to 100. There's War Room to 49. Two color patch. That's Eric Jacques with Alexander Matheson. And we've got that right there. Off 
autosave, are you trying to recruit people on the site? You're not, you're surely not, I'm, I must be mistaken, Ryan. You're not trying to use this as a message board, right? For your own personal and financial gain? Because that's a bannable offense right there. It's not the first time you've done that, so sorry, dude. We can't have have any of that. Folks, this is not the place for you to self-promote your own business, ladies and gentlemen. This is like going into a Starbucks and telling someone to go to someone else's coffee shop. That's not cool. Evan Ingram to 25. So this is not the place for that. This is not an open message board or anything like that. So just don't do it. Jerry Rice, 75. So I know we're cool about a lot of stuff, but we're also a business, and I wouldn't walk into anybody else's business and openly advertise myself and try to hire people and stuff like that. All right, out of 199, we were talking about Jared Goff a little bit earlier. Well, are you saying they don't, AJ Anderson? I'm just being real, man. And I'm not going to pretend and blow... blow uh, Blow smoke up your bum, and try to tell you that. Uh, oh, you're just playing. I'm gonna try to tell you that the. I don't think. I think you'd have less respect for me, AJ Anderson, if I tried to tell you that the that the Lions were good. That they're gonna win the division. Vegas says otherwise. Nikhil Harry, William Frazier, Patriots. It's Carson Wentz, at 75. To 50, Reggie White. And David Sills to 199. Bryce Love, 5 out of 99. Rookie Premier Materials, Triple Relic, and Autograph for Roy. And there's Stephon Gilmore as well. All right. Got Andy Dalton to 100. We got Jalen Ramsey. And we have J.J. Arcego Whiteside to 130. Bruce with the Eagles. And we've got Preston Williams. P, smiley face P, 20 out of 75. Don Rabb with the Dolphins on the board. Uh, we were just discussing Lions at Cardinals. And I was saying I'm taking the Cardinals at plus two and a half. And I cited my, my reasons for that.
What do you think a Lions Raider spread would be at a neutral site? <laughs> I don't know if either team are very good. Probably pick them. I mean, maybe with Antonio Brown, Raiders are minus one. At a neutral site. Here's J.J. Watt to 100. All right, well, I'll give you guys Raiders, Lions, combined win total over under eight and a half. Ms. Drew Locke. And there's Drew Locke, little Oppo Joe Mojo. Scott V, Broncos. Three out of 99, nice. Come on, Lions are not winning nine games. Stop, AJ. Um, Scott V with the Broncos, there's Mike Evans. I think they'll win. A, I think both teams could. Do. It's it'll probably be over, but I could see it being like just like nine for between both teams. No Raiders. Raiders are not winning ten. Look at the schedule. They have like a month where they don't even play at home. There'll be there's like road, road, England, bye week, road, and then they're finally back at home. They've got a brutal schedule. There's Dexter Williams, seventy five. And we've got Trubisky. Rough day for him yesterday. We've got a team at tandem. Devin Singletary, LaShawn McCoy. Not anymore. It's just this guy now. Scott V with the Bills. Okay, Gilo. I like this. How about this? Combine the Raiders and Lions. To take the best of the Raiders, best of the Lions. Put them as one team. What would the spread be against the Patriots? Um, winner take all on the points oh we're almost done with the break um, what would that line be we'd have to we'd need like another absolute break to talk about this AJ says Pats minus three and a half yeah I could ooh that's a good question we have, we'll have to I'll have to raise that question again in another break. Dwayne Haskins to 100. Nick Chubb. War Room, Michael Hardman Jr. to 130. AJ would still take the Patriots. Chiefs, Matthew Simmons with that. And behind Sony Michelle, the last hit is going to be Devin Bush, the second autograph, numbered to 35, 32 at 30. He's got a pretty nice autograph compared to all the other guys. Michael Gallucci, Seal Curtain with the Steelers. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. No one of one. No one of one. So. We're not giving away 70 bucks here. So in the next break, we'll be giving away 105 bucks. We'll see what happens. Maybe maybe the five-star break? That seems to be rolling along, people are saying in the chat. All right. Let's get some dice. Let's get a new list. Let's go with Rick down to Roy. And let's randomize it 11 times. Name on top gets the gets all of the points, these two points cards right here. Six and a five, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and 11 and final time. After 11 times, Name on top is Mark Livingston. I don't think I called your number all break, Mark, but you've got some points coming your way. You can actually sell these for 
for a decent amount. Points actually do kind of do well in a secondary market, especially if you have no use for them. You can definitely sell them. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time at jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.